Hey guys, Derek here. So this is the start, this is going to be part one of the build process. At the moment you can see I've got the A-frame up. I'll just do a tour around it just so I'll show you where bits and pieces are and anything that you might find a little bit tricky just starting off. So at the moment you got uh, let me just double check so this this one here and this one here which I've put at the front these are the two main uprights from the artillery uh, the Z gantry basically and that's obviously the middle part uh, now that is I can't remember where it come from now my apologies anyway uh, the up frame is supported by these two 90 brackets. Uh, the front area has a bracket as such, which obviously goes up, meets the top of the A frame. Exactly the same on this side. The front doesn't have any cogs uh, or any turn wheels or anything to turn it. It's all done at the back. So. Let's just move around. At the moment, the actual main box is here. Uh, it's actually propped up on there's three 2020s going across the frame at the bottom, and it's sat on this one and this one for the moment. You've got the part here which is holds the bed so you've got the heat bed here you've got this which holds the heat bed and the A-frame underneath it that you can see it's the, basically the frame that holds the bed um, and that's starting to come off when I need to stick that back on on the back side pardon my language uh, so you've got one cog here which goes to a motor which will be here you've also got a motor here now this will be for the Y because I've been told obviously this is the Y that's the Z and then you've got, your, you've got the X so this here is for the Y which will have also a bar going across here and then that will pull the Y up and down but this is as far as I've got so far I don't have any instructions at this moment in time uh, the, uh, the company as I've suggested this is more likely the first one that they've sent out uh, apart from the ones that they've done themselves and there's no <laughs> build instructions at this moment in time but obviously when you guys get yours I'm sure that the build instructions will be fine um, so this is as far as I've got so far this is be part one of the build it's fairly straightforward like I've said I've done this without no instructions um, it's a matter of just sizing these up making sure that they fit right and the same across the top it is nice and sturdy you can pick it up just by the top and this is where I'm at at the moment so I haven't obviously I've still got the Z end stop here the Y end stop is there and that is as far as I've got so far um, I've been building the other parts which I've got down here that's going to be the part of the Y gantry which will take it up and down and the only part I've got left over at the moment is the is it a 60 no is that 60 20 it's the one that went down the, the middle of the board holding the um, the printer bed, the heat bed. 
but here I've rebuilt the um, hot end so the hot end is on here at the moment you might hear my cat out the door but apologies uh, she wants to come in and this is the hot end at the moment this is how it is I am not too sure how it's going to be mounted because obviously I might have to turn the heat block but that's as far as I've got with it so far so I've got the hot end done I need to do the X gantry the Y gantry and then it's going to be a matter of connecting it all flashing the firmware and getting it up and running that's as far as I've got so far thought I'd give you an update and I'll see you soon Bye.